To kick off the Open Ocean Initiative at the MIT Media Lab, I hosted Here Be Dragons. 200, more than 200 people participated, including over a dozen National Geographic explorers, some of you, whom you can see up here, um, to discuss the dragons still on the map, the gaps that still exist in ocean exploration, innovation, and storytelling. It was an incredible two days that culminated in pitches for projects that begin to tackle some of the challenges and opportunities that were identified during the event. These projects had to be innovative, impactful, compelling, and achievable within about six months. We received 13 proposals for these rapid field deployments, eight of which we're in the process of funding right now, four by the Media Lab and the following four by National Geographic. Project Prometheus is developing a low-cost, high-precision, diver-deployed underwater mapping system. This will allow us to quickly, inexpensively, and beautifully map large underwater spaces, such as caves, coral reefs, and archaeological sites, and create immersive experiences from them. Our sustainable use of food, power, and other resources depends on microbial communities that are out of sight and out of mind to most people on Earth. The Micronauts are developing a, an immersive, multi-sensory experience to start to bridge that gap, to create an appreciation for these tiny life forms that have so big an effect on us. My Deep Sea, My Backyard aims to empower people in developing countries to explore their own backyards using low-cost technologies while developing in-country lasting capacity. We're hosting workshops in Kiribati and Trinidad to train students, educators, and scientists to explore their own deep sea and continue working with them to understand and share their exploration. You heard a little bit earlier that more data has been collected in the last two years than ever before. And we don't have an efficient, effective way to fully analyze and understand that data. So the Big Ocean Big Data team is creating a new baseline image training set called FathomNet so that we can start to develop modern AI-driven tools to analyze underwater imagery so that we can learn, understand, and care more for the ocean than ever before. Now, these projects and many more will be presented at another event I'll be hosting this fall in collaboration with the NOAA Office of Ocean Exploration and Research. In order to fully explore and understand our ocean, we cannot continue to rely on the handful of research vessels that are around the world. We truly need all hands on deck to do it. So this November, I'll be bringing together leaders in ocean exploration, innovation, recreation, entertainment, art, and design to start to imagine what are those new creative ways to empower a global, inclusive, open community of ocean explorers. I hope you'll all join me. Thank you.